What's going on guys? Today I've got a pretty simple tutorial for you. I um, got a question as to how I do my um, thumbnails in my videos. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. I really don't do all that much typically. So um, <laughs> you'll find this pretty easy. But um, nonetheless, let's go ahead and get into it here. As you can see, I've got, um, I got this, what do you call it? I call them vectors. This is how I, that's how I search for it in Google. But they're not technically vectors. But anyway. I got this picture of just Google Images, and then um, obviously the background is the tutorial I made with Twixter. Um, and then I just added the text here, and the vignette, and the shadow. I'll show you how to do all that. But, uh, all right, let's hop into our new comp where there's nothing in it. Um, so first, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the tutorial in the background. Just leave it how it is. Not a really big deal. Um, as you can see, I've got my composition kind of like over a second, I don't know how many frames that is, but I really only need to make it one frame. I just do this just because. Um, but anyway, um, after I've got the um, background in there, I'm gonna go ahead and add my logo. Scale that down. Let me bring my resolution up right here. There we go. Um, scale that down. Okay, and I just throw that in the corner. And then let's add her to the mix and then scale her up a little bit. Okay, and you just get, as you can see, you've got this little, I don't know, watermark. So I'm just gonna mask that out real quick. I'll just do a negative mask like this. And then invert it. Okay. So now we've got her into the um, composition, but I like to do a little bit extra and kind of highlight. She's already highlighted a little bit, but I like to highlight a little bit more. I think it looks a little bit more eye popping, which is what you need for the thumbnail. Um, so I'm just gonna duplicate the layer, hit Control D, and then scale it up some, just a little bit, and then just kind of situate it right there, and then change it to, a white layer. What I do to do that is just go to um, where's it at? Color correction, HLS, and then bring up the lightness to 100%. And let's adjust this a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna bring the scale down. I think it's too high. Yeah. So it just gives it a little bit of edge to it. Um, and if you want to make it a little softer, you can add some blur to it. Gaussian blur is usually pretty good. Just want to make it a little softer like that. Let's just go ahead and leave it like that. And then take that same layer and duplicate it again. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then move it over here. This is going to be our shadow. And then you can probably already tell we're going to take the lightness and bring it down to negative 100. And then the blurriness, um, <clears throat> we're going to bring that up. Um, about 50, that's fine. Um, and then the opacity, press the T to bring up your opacity and just bring it down to like, what is that, 80%? That's about right. All right, so basically we have the logo, the background, and our, um, our artwork where we want it. Um, so let's go ahead and add kind of like the name of the tutorial. Or whatever you know, whatever text you're trying to put in there. Um, so we just go ahead and add some text. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put um, some nail. Just one word first. And the uh, font I'm using is Geo Sans MT Condense. I really like that one. Um, I'm gonna scale it up. And. I'm going to change this into a, well first I'm going to move the anchor point to the middle because that kind of annoys me when it's not in the middle. Um, next we're going to change this to a 30 layer, just hit this little box right here. Um, if you don't see these three boxes, you might have to be in the wrong mode. See that? You just hit this button and then go to the 3D mode. But anyway, make sure it's checked and then press R for rotation. And then I'm going to change the orientation to... Um, let's see, it's the Y is 320, 
And I just changed the Z just a little bit. One degree. And I'm gonna scale it up to a little bit more. Okay. Um, and then just duplicate it. Hit control D to duplicate, and then I'm just gonna make this one tutorial. There we go. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. So once you've got your um, the thumbnail the way you want it, basically you just need to render it out in JPEG format. So let me show you how to do that. Um, you want to make sure you don't have a bunch of frames selected like this in your um, workspace. You want to like go to a random spot because it's all the same image. So just go to a spot and then press B to uh, to cut the workspace the work area right there, and then press N. So you just have one frame as your work area. And then when you hit Control M to bring it into your render, um, what do you call it, render Q, it'll just bring that one frame in. So then you can change your output module to JPEG. And that's pretty much it. And then you just name it whatever. Thumbnail, tutorial, thumbnail. And that's it. Leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week.